You picked the wrong opponent. Moving up in the world. There's more where this came from. Remember, stretching is important. place gives you bonus points if you use contactless payment. I'm ready. Yeah. I'll take you on. 
want to play, do we? <laughs> Let's do it. Here we go. Allow me. where we left off. Oh, this place gives you bonus points if you use contactless payments. Contactless? I've heard of that, but I don't know too much about it. You put money into a smartphone app and pay through that. You can do all your shopping with just your phone, and you usually get points, so it's pretty handy. The only problem is not every store takes the same type, so I've loaded up eight different brands to be safe. Huh. You sure handy's the right word? Things are going well. Good stuff. Not bad. Not bad. Mm, yeah, not bad. It's got flavor. Unforgiving shiatsu. Forest best when it hurts. Not Unforgiving, huh? I could give you a massage. Never done it before, but I know how to apply pressure. Uh, I get the feeling that's a massage I might not recover from. All right. Well, offers out there. All right. I've really gotten to know them. Ichiban used to go to this club all the time. He got a nice vibe to it, and the hostesses are second to none. You do know they're a rival club, right? Oh. Hey, if you say it's good, then it might just be worth a visit. Huh. Apparently even women go in here. Well, I'm sold. Count me in, guys. Well, I doubt Sachan wants to come, so maybe another time. Uh, wait! If everyone's going, I'm going too. Might as well see the competition. Then why don't I up the ante? Drinks are on me. Ooh, <laughs> then let's go in already. Nothing like free drinks to win such on over.
Do events for Christmas and Halloween at your place? Of course. Those are some of our most lucrative nights. <laughs> Even the staff likes them because they get to cosplay. Well, they get into it, huh? I guess dressing up like Santa is always fun. Back at Sunflower, I'd have to dress up as Santa for the younger kids. I guess that was kind of like cosplay. Oh, I would have loved to see you in a Santa outfit, Kiryu-san. Are there any photos? I remember someone taking pictures, but they're long gone by now. Hmm. It's me. I've got an operation for you. Mm-hmm. Locate and procure. Sunhee, please don't be calling a Comey Jewel agent. はい
今夜も放送が始まりました。うないさん、よろしくお願いします。たまるさん、よろしくお願いします。えー TBS、この時間はスタミナの提供アロハカカヒアカアロハアバケア Found it. Picture perfect. We gonna fight some more? Here you, son. Is this where? The Sari you set up shop? Yep. I'm sure it's hard to swallow, seeing your clan's former headquarters like this. I guess it must have gone vacant after the Great Dissolution. Now here they are, the new owners. Ijincho's just not big enough for them anymore. That's how fast the Seiryu clan's growing. It's like they're quietly taking over. Hearing about it's one thing, but seeing it in person's another. Hear you, son? Unbelievable. The symbol of the Tojo clan falling into the hands of outsiders. To think I'd live to see the day. Let's go. Standing around won't get us any closer to the boys in charge. Hear you, son. Maybe hang back for now. You get caught here, it's all over. The well, same for Sunny, I suppose. Guess it's up to me to sort this out. Hey, uh, good day to you. My name's Nanma. I heard Sawashiro-san might be around. Can I help you with something? Oh, well, uh, you see, Sawashiro-san and I go way back. Uh, he actually paid for my trip to Hawaii the other day, so, uh, I thought I'd swing by and say thanks. Nobody told me he was taking any appointments. Now kindly get gone. Oh, don't be like that. What's wrong with popping in and saying hello? Besides, 
There's something important we need to ask him. Look, I can't let you through. And I already told you why. Oh, come on. Then how about you set me up a meeting with Ebina-san? You know, your captain? Why, <laughs> me and him were having a chat just the other day. All you gotta do is tell him Nanba's here. What part of no don't you understand? You're trying to get yourself killed, pal? I'm Narasaki, lieutenant of the Seiryu clan. Seems here there was a slight misunderstanding. Allow me to set things straight. Finally, someone who can talk some sense. I have instructions from Captain Ebina. You're all to be welcomed as our guests. He also said there's no need to ask your name. Really, Narasaki-san? You're gonna take him in? They say the newbies don't know jack shit. But I didn't think it was this bad. How could anyone not recognize you? I'd like to personally apologize for this dimwit. I want to talk to Sawashiro. Where is he? You'll see him soon enough. But first, please come in. Allow me the pleasure of welcoming you. It's truly an honor. I am Sawashiro of the Seiryu clan. Didn't expect you to roll out the red carpet. My apologies if we caught you off guard. However, we felt it was necessary. After all, with the Tojo clan and the Omi alliance now gone, it falls on us to become the banner for Yakuza all over the country. Such a task requires the utmost prestige. It's perhaps the only way to bring them all together. <laughs> right. So line up the troops and have them stare down your guests. That's your idea of prestige. Hmm. You'll have to forgive us. Well, there's little use in standing around out here. Captain Ebina is waiting for you inside. If you follow Narasaki, he'll lead you straight to him. I don't need a guide. Is that right? So your mind's still intact, huh? Glad to hear at least that's still worth a damn. I'm sorry, what? Do you know who you're talking to? Hey, take it easy, Sachan. We can keep this up if you really want to. But fair warning. If you're just testing your luck, pick another day. I don't have time for games. Are you kidding me?
Ho ho! No. No. What? Ho ho. Excuse me. Ha ho. Right. Excuse me. I see.
curious on. Hmm. No. Excuse me. Yes. Uh. It's you. Well, now, maybe I should have led you here after all. I was starting to think you got lost. Shut your mouth. If I needed you around, I'd have said so. <laughs> the Tojo clan's fourth chairman. <laughs> I can only assume you don't care much for what we've done with the place. However, you should know this building was all but left to rot. We took it upon ourselves to restore it. I take it you're Ebina? I am. And I presume you're familiar with Sawashiro-san? Yeah. Although, I've never seen him with the same pin twice. <laughs> you're supposed to be behind bars. But I see that's not the case. I'm flattered you've heard of me. It's quite an honor, Kiryu-san. Go on, take a seat. <laughs> Curious, son? I can only hope you're willing to talk. But maybe you ought to find a different chair first. What? Excuse you? <clears throat> that chair belongs to the head of the Tojo clan, and no one else. Take my word for it. A lot of blood's been spilled over just the chance to sit where you are now. Maybe you don't mean any offense, but you're not even close to earning that spot. And I'll be damned if I play along. Bastard! You better watch your fucking words! It's all right, Narasaki. <sighs> Captain. This was to be expected. In fact, I'd want nothing less from a man of his stature. Let's try this again. <laughs> Please, make yourself comfortable. <sighs> now then, shall we get started, Kiryu-san? I see the Seiryu clan's grown quite big. With all the Yakuza left behind, it's no surprise. And your goal is to help them along? Yes. As I'm sure you're aware, the civilian world is far from forgiving to our kind. Okay, but what about all those people who were able to make it, yet you pulled them right back in? 
son he here has plenty of data to back that up. Perhaps that data's oversimplified. There's rarely, if ever, a smooth transition back to society. What a Yakuza needs more than anything is structure, stability, and the means to make a living. So for them to join our clan is a temporary measure on that road to rehabilitation. Want to know what else I hear? That you're moving operations to Hawaii. You have keen ears. Queen of the Komi Jewel, indeed. At any rate, you could say we're blessed to have a business partner there. Business partner? Not sure if you would know, Kiryu-san. Our biggest source of income right now is storing waste that can't be disposed of. However, I can't take any credit for that idea. Someone else had thought it up, and they'd been doing it in Hawaii long before I met them. That would be Palekana, a local religious group. What? Palekana? They're also the ones who helped Akane-san escape to Hawaii 40 years ago. I take it you've already heard of them. You could say that. If I can step back a moment. I needed Sawashiro's reputation in order to set the second great dissolution into motion. And while he was still behind bars, he confided in me one of his deepest regrets. That was, of course, about Akane-san. As such, the more I learned, the more interest I developed in the group that brought her to safety. And as I dug deeper, I learned about their waste management business. There's a special island Palakana owns where they run a facility quite similar to ours. You must mean Nelly Island. Is that where Palakana stores its garbage? That's right. And when I reached out to them, they were extremely generous with their knowledge. They understood our objective as cleansing the sins of society, <laughs> and even offered to take in former Yakuza on our behalf. So you're saying all the fresh new faces in the Seiryu clan are getting sent to Nele Island? Correct. Everything that's happening in our Yokohama warehouse is simply a precursor to that. Right now, our joint venture with Palakana is our top priority. But I thought Nele Island was sacred to them. I hear only a select few of their followers are allowed to set foot there. Yet you plan to dump your Yakuza on their shores? I see you've done your homework. But yes, we've already worked out the details together. Besides, all our men will be doing is transporting the cargo by sea and unloading it off the boat. As it were, they'd hardly be leaving footprints in the sand. A far cry from desecrating their holy land, wouldn't you say? Polykana understands this as well. Never guessed religion and the underworld would ever go hand in hand. Aside from that, why'd you send Kasuga over to Hawaii? I sent Ichi to Hawaii for one thing. To reunite with Akane-san, who said she wanted to meet him. So whatever becomes of it, it's got nothing to do with the Seryu clan. Sawashiro, are you aware of what's happening to Akane-san right now? What do you mean? She's being hunted down by gangsters, all on Polykana's orders. But their real target is the girl she has with her. And if they're caught, they won't make it out alive. Impossible. Is that true, what you just said? I take it neither of you knew? I can assure you we did our due diligence in researching them. After all, they're integral to the Second Great Dissolution. So, you're saying we're making this up? I'm saying flinging words at each other would be pointless. Do you have any proof you can show us? Well... That said, this is coming from none other than Kiryu-san. We don't mean to make light of that. How about you give us some time? We'll look into Polykana once again. What would you do if Polykana turns out just like what I told you? I'd rather not make any speculations at the moment. As the Tojo clan fourth chairman, I'm sure you, of all people, understand the weight of a Yakuza's words. I see. And if that's your stance, I think we're done here. Thank you for the visit, and for the valuable information. Perhaps when things settle down, we can treat you to dinner.
Yeah. Let's hope that's possible. Well, we sure show their asses. Can't believe you got Sawashiro acting on his best behavior. Seriously? And even though we were deep in Yakuza territory, I didn't feel scared one bit. I don't know. Doesn't feel like we got much out of it. No? But didn't we at least learn that the Seiryu clan's connected to Palekana? <sighs> right. But we're still left to wonder whether Abina really knows what Bryce is up to. Guess we just have to wait and see. I suppose. By the way, you think up anything else for the bucket list? You didn't forget about it, did you? No, I remember. And you know what? Maybe it's because I haven't been to HQ in a while. But I just thought of something important. Oh, what is it? Well, it might not be the fun activity you were thinking. But I want to pay my respects. Some people who were close to me. You know, I think that's terrific. Mind if we come along? <laughs> I'd be grateful if you did. Might get a little gloomy without some company. I'm happy to hear you think of us that way. We'll do everything we can to support you, Kiryu-san. I know you will. Thanks. Then let's go. I trust you know the way? Yeah. Let's catch a taxi. Sorry to drag you all out here. Let's say we head back. You're all done? Yeah. I managed to clean up their gravestones and talk to them a bit about my life. If I can ask, who were these people? Well, they're my family. Of course, none of us are blood related, but it's never been about that. And it doesn't make them any less precious. Every time I come here, I get this strange feeling. I've always been the type to rush in and never think ahead. So I assumed if anyone was gonna die first, it'd be me. Yet here I am now, talking to them, even though they're long gone. Here you, son. I come to pay my respects for the first time in forever, and who do I see? <laughs> Almost like Kazuma himself had a hand in it. Date-san. Long time no see. <laughs> Gonna guess your buddies there are safe. Oh, yeah. An acquaintance of yours, Kiryu-san? Wait, doesn't this mean your cover's blown? No. He's good. If anyone's aware of anything, it's him. I take it you must be Detective Date? And that would make you Sunhi, the so-called face of Ijincho. <laughs> Never could stay away from trouble, could you? <laughs> I think we'll be heading back, curious son. You look like you got some catching up to do. Appreciate that. Hey, no worries. You fellas enjoy. Sorry, 
Didn't mean to scare up your new pals. But hey, what are the chances? I say we catch up on old times. That is, if you've got time. Sure. Been so long since the two of us have had a sip, I figured it ought to be here. And speaking of a sip, that one's all you get. Meanwhile, I'll be helping myself to the bar. Greedy old drunk. You sure Mama won't mind? <laughs> Just so happens today's her day off. Then I guess we'll leave it at that. Thanks. You're getting thin. I admit that caught me off guard. Really? You can tell that easy, huh? Well, yeah. When it comes to studying you, I hold a Guinness World Record. So, uh, is it that bad? Yeah. And when the doctor found out I was running around like this, he nearly burst the vessel. Let me guess. More nonsense from the Daidoji faction. In Hawaii, there was a girl who reminded me of Haruka. Her name's Lani. She's just an innocent kid. Yet here she is, running for her life. All for some asshole's convenience. I can't help but want to save her. Sounds like something you'd say. Always putting your neck out for others, aren't you? Well, with the clock ticking, I'm supposed to be enjoying my final moments. At least according to Namba and them. Sure. Never been the type to look after yourself. Well, there's been a lot on my mind now that it's come to this. Looking back, I almost didn't make it. When Nishiki and Yumi died, I thought, if only I could go with them. But what stopped me in the end was actually something you told me. I said something that important? You know damn well you did. Don't you have someone precious to protect? I figured that must be what's pushing me still. <laughs> In that case, you can't clock out just yet. After all, you want to protect that kid, right? Yeah. Then now's the time you get back your gusto. Still free to stick around a while? Come on. How long has it been? I'm sticking around whether you like it or not. <laughs> That's the spirit. Welcome back here, you son. Hey, how much were you drinking? Not much. Only had one glass. So was everything okay with your friend? Yeah. What's more, we agreed to meet up every now and again, like back in the day. Hope that's all right. Of course it is. Just don't go overboard with the booze, okay? Yeah, I know. You sure about that? I don't want to find you passed out somewhere. I see you're not gonna go easy on me. Fine. You have my word. Well, that's that. We should head back to Kasuga's apartment. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> 
Feel so heavy. Something wrong? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not that again. Yeah? What's the hold up? Try to block this! Nothing personal. What is happening to me? <coughs> Damn! Get off! Let it be. Right. What's the hold up? To the end. 
Here. Thanks. Allow me. I'm not backing down. Yeah, I got nothing personal. You're gonna be in a world. Oh, yeah. What was that? I don't know about this. Something wrong? <sighs> this ought to help. Yinky, my man! Here we go. Might as well. Sorry, get off. Sorry to drag my. <laughs>